this video talks through how to construct a histogram for continuous data. Now suppose you've done a survey of the heights of some trees in a forest and we want to construct a histogram to represent this information. Now to do this we have to convert the frequency into what's called a frequency density and we do this in two simple steps. Now first of all we work out the class widths of each of these classes. Now the first one goes from 0 to 2 so 2 take away 0 is 2 so it's got a class width of 2. The second is 5 take away 2 is 3 then 10 take away 5 is 5 and 12 take away 10 is 2. So these are the widths of these classes. Now to work out the frequency density we simply do frequency divided by class width. So I imagine a string of divide signs down through the table and there's four simple calculations to work out. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 then 4, another 4 and then 1. So to construct the histogram we have to basically plot the height on the x-axis and the frequency density on the y-axis. So here's my height, there's no units, and this is frequency density. So the y-axis must go from 0 up to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, a nice regular scale there. The x-axis is a proper scale as well. So 0 to 12 we put 0, 1, 2, label across, and that's a logical way. There we go. And then basically we draw bars with this height between the relevant numbers. So from 0 to 2 we have a height of 2.5. So I find 2.5 and it's between 0 and 2 so I go across and then down. Of normally we would use a ruler for this. The second bar between 2 and 5, between 2 and 5, goes as high as 4. So up to 4, up to 4, and then across. The, the third bar between 5 and 10 also goes as high as 4. So up to 4, and across. And then the last bar, between 10 and 12, goes as high as 1. So there's 1 across, again, normally we'd use a pencil and a ruler. But there we go. There's our histogram to represent the heights of trees in a forest. And the key point about this, of course, is that the area of each of the bars represents the frequency. So 2 times 2.5 is 5, 3 times 4 is 12, 5 times 4 is 20, and 2 times 1 is 2. So the area of the bars equals the frequency, and we use histograms for continuous data.